part 5 of my weekly tutorial. There's a new episode every Monday and if you like you can subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions shoot me an email. Today I'm going to talk about drop 2 voicings, why they are used so widely and how you can construct your own drop 2 voicing. So why drop 2? Drop 2 is a voicing that is very commonly used for a guitar, from guitar players and for a reason. I try to explain why. Let's take an A major 7 voicing that is stacked up in thirds. So if you would try to find an inversion of this chord, every note in the voicing would get from a place to the next, meaning the root would get to the third. The A would go to the C sharp, the C sharp would go to the E, the third would go to the five, the E would go to the G sharp, the fifth would go to the major seven, and the major seven would go to the root. So if you inverse this voicing, you'll come up with this voicing. Which is nearly impossible to play, at least for me. And if you go on inverting all those voices, you'll see you come up with a lot of voicings that are really hard to grip. One way to play the same notes in the same chord is to drop the second voice from the top. Meaning, get, let's get back to the A major 7. The second voice from the top would be the E. The top note is the G sharp. I drop the E an octave lower. The E would land on the A string here. And the rest would stay where it is. Still not very handy, so we're going to play the G sharp on the D string. And now we have a drop two voicing. So that's it for today. I hope I could help you a little bit. If you have any questions, shoot me an email. Stay tuned. See you next Monday.